Hi, I'm Phil from Pigeon Modern Guitars. Um, recently had this beautiful 1962 Fender Stratocaster come in the shop and uh, just wanted to talk about it a little bit really. Um, it's a one owner guitar which is I think is quite a rare thing in itself, in a shop anyway. And it's got a, 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 it's a lifetime in this guitar, it's got a great, a great story with it. I mean a lot of guitars have stories but not, not many of them are, are proven and, and this one it's best demonstrated in the case actually. It comes, it comes with its um, original lead, hang tags, bridge cover and extra springs for the tremolo and the uh, higher purchase agreement um, back in 62 which would, would have cost you £168 and there's a photograph of a very young Pete Townsend with the owner of this guitar, Peter Wilson, a letter from his wife uh, telling you the story and a, and a letter from Pete Townsend as well with it. The brief story of this, I mean it's, it's a great story that which the, the, the new owner will, will get to enjoy, is that um, they were both Shadows fans, P Pete Townsend and Peter Wilson, and they were in a, in a school band together called the Confederates, this is all obviously pre-Who time, and um, Peter Wilson was fortunate enough to be able to, to afford to buy this, or, or you know, start the, well, to buy the guitar, which you know, was a huge amount of money back then, and um, a bit later on, Peter Wilson also had some studio time booked in a local studio and he gave that up to let Pete Townsend go in and record a demo of a, of a, of a pre-Who song called it, it, it Was You, which I think was later recorded by another band in the, in the early 60s, about 64 I think it was recorded. And, um, and then later on in the 60s when nobody would lend Pete Townsend the guitar to do a gig because he had a high chance of breaking them, Peter Wilson again stepped up and, and um, agreed to lend Pete this guitar on the condition that he would certainly die if it got broken. Thankfully it didn't and and the history has <laughs> gone on to play its part. But back to the guitar, yeah it's, it's like I say it's had a life, it's been used and been worn, it's been loved really and, uh, and it, you can see that but it's, it's all there and it's, it just sounds gorgeous, it's got that lovely plummy neck pickup sound and you know, these, these things just just sing really. On that middle pickup it's got that lovely that lovely scoop sort of Hendrixy thing going on there isn't it? But the thing that really sets these early 60s strats out from the um, certainly a modern guitar or later 60s strats is this this lead pickup which I find almost painful on later guitars um, but on a but on a pre CBS strat they're really tuneful. I know they get tired of that sound, but on a, on a modern guitar, they're very shrill and grating, and you, you know, they... it's not in tune, but that's, <laughs> that's, uh, you get the idea. Beautiful, beautiful guitar, um, and it's here at Vintage Modern Guitars.